dear students welcome to new video of agricultural economics today's our video is on the course econ 1 to 1 fundamentals of agricultural economics or in the old syllabus it was principles of agricultural economics as this course is the first course in the degree of bsc agriculture and this course covers various basic concepts of economics and agricultural economics so our today's video is about the overlook on the syllabus of fundamentals of agricultural economics so in the first lecture or in the first topic is about the what is mean by economics the economics word derived from which language okay then subject matter of economics scope of the economics and various definition given by various economists that is the wealth definition welfare definition scarcity definition growth definition these are the various definition given by various economists who have to study then the division of economics as we know in the division of economics there are two approaches that is traditional approach and modern approach then traditional approach consists of consumption production exchange distribution and modern approach consists of the microeconomics and macroeconomics okay then second topic is about the approaches to economic analysis micro and macroeconomics then either economics is science or art if it is science either it is positive science or normative science then we have to study the methods of economic investigation that is the deductive method and inductive method then third topic is about the nature of economic theory rationality assumption concept of equilibrium or types of equilibrium we have to study then economic law as a generalization of human behavior the next concept is a most important most of the mcqs or most of the objective type of questions they will ask on the basic concepts so first one is goods and services in that classification of good is most important characteristics of good services then wants demand utility then we have to study the consumer behavior in that there are two approaches that is the cardinal approach ordinal approach cardinal approach consists of the law of diminishing marginal utility law of equi marginal utility and con concept of consumer surplus whereas ordinal approach consists of the indifference curve analysis theory then characteristics of utility forms of utility this is also most important topic then cost price wealth capital income welfare and classification of wealth as we know wealth is classified as a personal wealth social wealth national wealth or cosmopolitan wealth or we have to understand the examples of this classification of wealth then next fifth topic is about the agricultural economics up to this the topic which are related to general economics now the agricultural economics meaning definition characteristics of agricultural production or agriculture importance of and role of agriculture in economic development or role of agriculture in indian economy then we have to study the cardinal approach utility theory as i earlier told you cardinal approach utility theory consists of the law of diminishing marginal utility in this law we have to study the statement or who gave this law then statement of the law assumptions of the law as we know for every law there are some assumptions we have to suppose something similarly here also there are some assumptions of the law then explanation of the law with the help of example we have to explain this law then limitation of this law and the importance of law of diminishing marginal utility we have to study then next topic is about the law of equi marginal utility in that similarly meaning assumption explanation of law then practical importance of the law and the limitation of law so these two laws are most important as concerned to your semester and examination or for any competitive examination also then next concept comes under the cardinal approach that is the consumer surplus so we have to know what is mean by consumer surplus which are the assumptions of the consumer surplus then explanation of consumer surplus with the help of example 
then difficulties in uh, measuring consumer surplus then importance of consumer surplus so this is up to this these two laws and concept of consumer surplus comes under the cardinal approach utility theory the next is ordinal approach in that we have to study the consumer equilibrium and indifference curve analysis now after that the new topic is demand we have to know what is mean by demand and what is mean by supply these are the two consecutive topics so first one is demand meaning definition of the demand then the types of demand that is income demand price demand and cross demand then what is mean by demand schedule what is mean by demand curve then we have to study the law of demand what happens if price increases what will happen to the quantity of quantity of demanded it is uh, explained by the law of demand then what is the contraction and extension of demand what is increase and decrease in demand and which are the determinants of demand means which are the factors that determine the demand okay the next topic is about the elasticity of demand means responsiveness of demand with the price change in price that is the elasticity so in this topic we have to study the definition then elasticity that is the either elastic or inelastic demand then kinds of elasticity of demand either it is perfectly elastic or perfectly inelastic relatively elastic or re relatively inelastic or unitary elastic then types of elasticity of demand as the types of demand there are types of elasticity of demand also that is price elasticity income elasticity and cross elasticity of demand then we have to study the some factors affecting demand then practical importance of elasticity of demand now as like demand then next is production process creation of utility factors of production input output relationship then laws of returns law of variable proportion and law of returns to scale so i think these are the topics uh, they have removed from the now they have removed from the syllabus but then also we have to study about this topic also then supply meaning of supply what is mean by supply definition then law of supply what is mean by supply schedule what is supply curve then as like demand increase and decrease in supply contraction and extension of supply and factors affecting the supply then elasticity of supply as like demand perfectly elastic perfectly inelastic relatively elastic relatively inelastic and unitary elastic and there are some factors affecting elasticity of supply so these are the topics we have to cover in demand and supply chapters next distribution theory then concept of rent then most important topic that is about the that comes from macroeconomics that is concepts of national income so we have to study what is mean by national income important circular circular flow of national income concept of national income that is the gnp nnp okay then gdp is there ni is there personal income is there and di is there means disposable income is there then we have to study various concepts or what it includes we have to study in the concepts of national income then methods of measurement of national income product method income method expenditure method and value added method is there and which are the difficulties in the measurement of national income so this is about the topic of national income the next population importance of population and we have in the population we have to study the two theories of population first theory is given by the thomas malthus that is malthusian theory of population and second one is optimum population theory theory of optimum population the next natural and socio economic determinants current policies and programs on the population control the next most important topic is about the money evolution of money we can say in that barter system of exchange what are the problems in the barter system of exchange evolution meaning and functions of the money then classification of money what is mean by money supply then general price index then we have to most importantly we have to study about the inflation and deflation in the inflation what is mean by inflation then causes of the inflation and which are the types of the inflation means uh, 
वॉकिंग इन्फ्लेशन क्रिपिंग इन्फ्लेशन रनिंग इन्फ्लेशन हाइपर इन्फ्लेशन गैलोपिंग इन्फ्लेशन व्हाट इज मीन बाय डिस इन्फ्लेशन व्हाट इज मीन बाय डिप्लेशन दीज आर द टॉपिक्स वी हैव टू स्टडी देन कंट्रोल मेजर्स ऑफ द इन्फ्लेशन देन वी हैव टू स्टडी द सेंट्रल बैंक फंक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉलिसीज देन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज अबाउट द पब्लिक रिवेन्यू मीन्स विच आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ पब्लिक रिवेन्यू इन दैट टैक्सेस और taxation is most important in that we have to study which are the direct indirect taxes then agriculture taxation what is the value added tax and newly evolved concept that is the goods and service tax we have to study about that also then public expenditure then last two topics that is about the economic system as we know there are the three economic systems uh, capitalistic socialistic and mixed economic we have to study about these three economic systems and their functions then elements of economic planning so this much syllabus we have to study in this course this course is very interesting and this course is base for the upcoming courses of agricultural economics so for this course you can refer the books that is agricultural economics by subbaredi p raguram that is most commonly use the book for this course and it is one of the best book for agriculture econ 1 to 1 or agricultural economics then you can refer another book that is the elementary economic theory by kk david so this is about the today's video thank you